According to his wife, Datin Rabiatul Adawiyah Arshad, during the 9.30 p.m. incident yesterday, her husband had gone over to the neighbor's house to inform them that their 27-year-old son was throwing stones at their home, which also hit a family member. Sebenarnya, permulaannya adik ipar saya ni dibaling dengan batu oleh budak ni lah, suspek. Jadi, kena dekat tangan ni sebab dia mungkin lah. Jadi, bila suami saya balik, datuk balik, dia mengadu dengan datuk. Jadi, datuk kata, tak apalah kita pergi jumpa mak ayah dia. Itulah ringkasnya. Dia pergi ke rumah orang tu ketuk-ketuk-ketuk, uh, mak dia tanya nak ada apa, dia kata nak jumpa ayah dia lah, nak tanyakan hal ni lah. Sekali buka pintu, tiba-tiba kata meluru, dia uh, tengah pisau kan. Kata dia orang ni, eh, Datuk ingat dia tumbuk, jadi rupanya ada pisau. Datuk Suhaimi sustained stab wounds to his right shoulder and the back of his ear in the attack. His nephew who tried to shield Datuk Suhaimi was also slashed on the face. Sungai Buloh Police Chief Superintendent Esomu said they have detained the suspect who is unemployed and believed to be mentally unsound. Preliminary investigations showed that there was no motive for the attack. Authorities have also recovered a knife believed to have been used in the incident. The men now in remand for six days to facilitate investigations under Section 326 of the Penal Code for voluntarily causing grievous hurt by dangerous weapons.